MarijuanaNews.com, a former national director of the National Organization for Former Marijuana Laws. And uh, how long has that been out? Marijuana.com. Marijuana News. Marijuana News. Dot com. Uh, I started doing it in 97. And, uh, uh, and of course, the, uh, I became national record normal in 92. So there, a, a great deal has changed in the last uh, 13 years in terms of media coverage of the movement and uh, of the movement itself. I mean, this event here in Seattle is uh, a, something that is 10 years old and it has uh, you know, went from becoming some a little uh, hippie event that the uh, Seattle Post Intelligencer uh, ignored to the point where there was there were a hundred thousand people outside their window in 1999, and uh, they never reported it at all. And now, of course, it, it's uh, uh, it gets friendly coverage. They have succeeded in getting an initiative passed that made marijuana possession the lowest priority for the police. And so this is something that has, you know, has, has had a real impact. And this also, this event, you know, is a bridge between the old counterculture, the hemp movement, and uh, a, a really uh, extremely well organized uh, approach to, to influencing events. And like I say, when the, they succeeded in getting an initiative passed here, it was something that the Seattle establishment couldn't ignore any longer. So that plus the, uh, the passage of the medical marijuana initiative in uh, the late uh, 90s here uh, uh, really had, a, had a, an impact on uh, the understanding of the, of the cannabis issue. And so I think this is, this, this is an important event as any event that has over 100,000 people would be. Right. Are, are there some of the highlights that you'd like to share with us of the show that you've seen? Well, <laughs> Actually, I think that the thing that is, is to me is one of the most interesting aspects of it is, is, is simply how many vendors there are here. Uh, and that is a testimony to these, these are small merchants. And uh, they, uh, uh, it, th this indicates the economics, economic importance of just a small segment of the cannabis users. Uh, because uh, you can see that by the, de you know, the demographics here, looking at the, most of the people here, they're, they're young people, uh, and uh, it is, you know, it, so it is not a particularly wide uh, cross-section of, of society that is here, but just this one element of the hemp community, the cannabis community, uh, it has enough economic power, one, to make an event like this work, at, at several different levels, and including that uh, I don't know how many vendors there are that are here and uh, uh, like these small merchants, you know, trying to make a buck. Uh, so, is Marijuana News uh, a monthly? No, MarijuanaNews.com is, is a website that I, I basically I update once or twice a week. Oh, and, and I, you know, basically I, uh, I do uh, some original reporting, uh, but uh, more. Uh, Today, the you know, emphasis on analysis of, of things like uh, the arrest of, of Mark Emery and his associates in, in Vancouver uh, at the behest of the DEA, where you know, has now become made a, uh, the marijuana issue uh, uh, a, a national issue in Canada in a way that really is backfiring, I think, on uh, the on the DEA. The, D, the head of the DEA, Karen Tandy, said that that bragged that bragged that by uh, uh, putting Mark Emery out of business, they would eliminate a major source of funding for the drug legalization movement in America. In other words, it was a blatantly political move. They only, the only seed merchant that they've gone after is one that happens to publish a magazine and is a political activist. The rest, the rest of them who are just in business, they've ignored. So this is clearly a political move. She said as much. I mean, she couldn't have been much more explicit about it. And so, now this is, uh, I think, is interesting is, is that uh, the Canadians across the political spectrum are op opposed to extraditing Emory and his associates to uh, the U.S. And uh, people who are uh, prohibitionists, who are against even the decriminalization of marijuana, have come out against uh, uh, extraditing them to, to the states. So this is, uh, is something that is going to, you know, I think, 
uh, force issue in Canada. So I, you know, I write about that, mostly in terms of reporting a little bit about it and trying to just do what I just did, and, you know, in terms of trying to explain it. All right, well, thank you very much Indeed. for speaking with us today. Thank you. Enjoy it.